That's spooky. Right? I got a little scared, dude. I thought yeah. that's I got PTSD, man. I got oh, PTSD yeah. hearing, you know, people screaming in the background with my headphones on. <laughs> that's not that's not bad, right? For an hour? No, I like it. Cool. I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, I mean that sooner or later her slaps so that gradient, dude. I'm telling it you. really does, dude. The ore gradient goes so fucking hard. Jeez. It does, yeah. It's nice. You guys actually don't need to keep watching anymore. That's all I needed you guys to see. I watch always anyway. Uh, I you don't. can mute it. Oh wow. <laughs> I mean, it'll Damn. be nice to have James test out the channel points. So There's four cool. people uh viewing right now. One of them was me, the other one was me on the podcast one. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was you. Hey, hey we're gonna hear me. What are the four best fans you could have asked for? <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome back to the, I would say, the internet's best, least known podcast. 100%. 100%. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show me another one you can't because you don't know those either. Yeah, because you can't find them. Right. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm your host, Joey Guevara, and this week on stream, we're doing a double feature. But for the YouTube videos... I guess one's just going to use the same intro. Yeah, yeah. The other one. So here, I'll do it. I guess I'll do what? Just a clean cut it intro? in, dude. Yeah. Do a different intro. All right, everybody. Uh, the other intro this week, we're doing Venom. <clears throat> All right, everybody. The other intro this week, we're doing Wreck. <laughs> clean. Um, yeah, that was I nice couldn't ask for more. That. I literally couldn't shit, have asked for dude. more. I mean, it's kind of close together, so you can be <laughs> spreading that shit. Yeah. <laughs> um... I mean, I guess we should have just... flipped your your camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, realistically, what I'll do because what I'm gonna do is just highlight the first one, and then highlight the second one. So I think, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. So, so after we that? review Venom, because this is episode seventy and we're reviewing Venom. After that, I'm gonna hit the B right back. That'll give me a clean plate that I can highlight from, and then I'll redo the scary opening and everything. True. And anybody who watches Venom, or anybody who watches Wreck, but not Venom, is not going to fucking understand what's going on. No. <laughs> and all the Venom people are going to be like, hell yeah, brother. Um, so we did Venom. I don't have a doc open because Let I've been there be carnage. This. I'll say the full name, Thank dude. God. Come on. <laughs> Venom 2. Hey, so it made uh, a lot of money. The pandemic what's the uh, lot? record did right do, now. Did we do 90 million? a doc or no? Should I just be Is that the pandemic up? record for like opening weekend? Or Correct. what? I feel yes. like another movie had that more more than so that. So what? I'm just I'm just just lying. <laughs> lying? Just lying at your ass, dude. Uh, no, because Shang Chi made like uh, Shang Chi made like seventy eight. Thank you. Don't disrespect okay. the man. He'll whoop dude, your I ass. It. I mean, he would <laughs> in real life too. Man. Yeah, probably. <laughs> the dude's fit. Yeah. Um. All right, Venom Two. Let there be carnage. Uh, the 2021 sequel to the 2018 smash hit Venom, starring Cult Tom <laughs> Hardy. Uh, this movie is directed by the Andy Circus, which is kind of fucking wild. By Golem. He did a bad job. But you don't play? like this movie? We'll get to it. Spoilers, so, dude. Yeah, <laughs> fucking spoilers. Uh, screenplay by Kelly Marshall, story by Tom Hardy and Kelly Marshall. I didn't know he did the story for this. I didn't either. I didn't know he had any to do with it. You see the credits, dude? He's named fat as fuck. Dude, <laughs> nope. I, I was flipping through my phone trying to figure out how long I had to stay to see that banger ass end credit scene. All right. I was trying to see how many they had, to be honest. So was I. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, there's, on, there's only one, right? There was only one. Yeah. Yes. Only okay. One. Based I didn't on... stick around, but you know that's what the what? internet said. You didn't stick around. The end credit scene got me. No, hot. I saw at that, but like for a second one after that. Oh. Yeah, because there was a mid credit, and then there's ten. The end credit is usually after everything, but the I don't know why they didn't do just end end credit. Why they went with mid mid credit? Uh, I think one because they didn't expect people to sit through all the credits, and two True. because that end that end or the mid credit scene that they had. Was such a good one that they were like, pe- they're like, everybody's load is going to get fucking themselves. blown. Yeah. They're going to have to run to the doctors because their fucking kidneys fell out. Like, nah, I think like they knew Wolverine, what they Wolverine, dude? That's crazy. He's going to be in this uh, fucking next Gambit movie, dude. Gambit blew Tom Hardy's Holy face off. shit. Honestly, um, though, I'm not saying no. The, oh, if there was a Gambit? Yeah. <laughs> you mean in this movie, based on characters from Marvel Comics? Produced by... In Association? Every- <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I hate that. Um, 
There's a fuck ton of producers. I don't care about them. Cinematography by Robert Richardson. Edited by uh, Marianne Brandon Stan and Stan Sal Salfris. Music by Marco Beltrami. The production companies are Columbia Pictures, Marvel Entertainment, Tencent Pictures. I didn't know that they had a fucking... Tencent? Yeah, those are the people who own all the fucking... I know those guys. That's wild. Um, and Pascal Pictures, distributed by Sony Pictures, uh, with a release date in the United States of October 1st, 2021, with a runtime of 97 minutes and a budget of $110 million. This movie in its opening weekend made how much? $90 million. That's like fucking crazy. And some change. <laughs> That's so not bad, dude. They're 50% there, you know? I'm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's going to make his money. Like, oh, 100%. And I, I, yeah. And uh, I think after people finding out about the end credit scene, they might just go out and re like watch it. Uh, someone's going to need that fucking Logan money, though, dude. Shit. Someone. And they brought dude. back Hugh Jacked Man, too, which is kind of wild. It's shit. <laughs> and Ryan Reynolds, I think, is going to be in there. He's also Wolverine. Yeah, you know universe. how they like have a relationship to those two. So, uh, it made it made ninety million dollars at the domestic box office, and it's internationally made by, zero. <laughs> no, it's made by Tencent, so it's gonna have a wide release in China too. That's they wild. probably just gave the the movie things or whatever to Tencent to like, hey, distribute that shit over there, man. One hundred percent, I guarantee it. I mean, you yeah, gotta make that money, dude. Uh, on the tomato meter, uh, fifty nine percent of critics say that you should go see this movie, and eighty six percent of audience members oh, say shit. that you Is should it, go it's see higher this. than the original one. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it's got to be because that end credit scene, man. The more people like this movie than the other movie. I think, and I can understand why this movie's more fun than the first movie. This, if you, so, so it's a PG thirteen was... fun for sure. Yeah, but no, this movie, the first yeah. one, the the stuff that people liked in the first one, they doubled down in this movie. Yeah. And they just give you it the whole movie. And so let me tell like, you, the neckbeard dude in the theater behind me was loving it. He was yeah. like, <laughs> Venom would be like, oh, that was rude. And he'd go, ha, 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 rude. <laughs> Loud as fuck in the theater, dude. It was Next wild. to you? No, yeah. He was like one diagonally behind me. And I was like, terrible. Yo. And then the dudes behind me were like, Oh my god, that red car is from Carnage issue 137 uh, in no, volume 3. <laughs> and, and then I went and I watched like uh, I watched New Rockstars because their Things You Missed series is fucking next to none. They like nitpick everything and it got to the red car and he was like well the red car is probably a nod to the red car. The um, oh my god, what's his name? Woody Harrelson. Oh, yeah. But Woody Harrelson's character in Natural Born Killers drove a car like that. Oh. So it was like a callback to that. So, like, the first thing I thought was, like, that fucking tryhard behind me didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> yeah, what a moron. So um, this movie made more in its first weekend domestically than the first Venom did. Get the fuck oh, out of like here. In total, like, overall? It, no, 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 no. It opened up <laughs> at $80 okay. million. Dollars. Thank you, because the way you put it, it yeah. was like, there's no way that movie didn't make any money. <laughs> no, I mean, I, critics... I mean, it's about Okami Weekend. We got to see what the final numbers are. And I can't find the domestic stuff. So I don't know. Maybe it, was it just a U.S. release this week? No, because it opened in London. Uh... Oh, yeah, this week, maybe. It opened in London on September 27th. <laughs> Two years ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I was just trying to find the numbers. I can't find them, though. September They're not really 14th, 2021, it opened in London. And we got mm. it October. Um, I think this movie's a fucking mess. This movie is totally messy. But the first one was messy. But like, I I should have watched the first one. But like, the critics like this one better because you've never first seen the first one. Had thirty percent. So, yeah, that's kind of wild. Um, no, I I did. Oh, so the I first... said I wish I would have watched it again. Sorry. I, I oh, gotcha, gotcha. Complete... The first one took itself too seriously. This movie did not. This movie mm -hmm. was. Dumb and Dumber, and the first movie was trying to be like, uh, like a. All right, let's establish this yeah. shit. Let's it was, you know it was be serious. A little too serious, and this yeah. one, but like with a with a villain like Carnage, you kind of have to be silly because that dude is fucked. He is so. I mean, with a up. dude like Tom the, Hardy. <laughs> but the problem with Carnage's character is because they were never gonna appease like the comic book hardcore Carnage fans. Because Carnage is just too dark, like yeah. to be 
in a PG-13 movie. He like rips pregnant women in half type of dark. <clears throat> Vertically. There's like like I don't know how true it is, but I I was like uh, watching something. And they're like, yeah, they're in in like the MCU. Like Carnage kills so many people. Like you, the only thing that kills more than him are world war, like wars and like uh, uh I mean, like sicknesses. That makes sense though, right? Because he's yeah. he's like a fucking he's a psychopath. What's with- what's Carnage's yeah. actual like origin story? It's is, this. Is, pretty much that. Yeah. It's that. He gets the toxins with the venom so, symbiote or whatever. In the book, what happens is during the Maximum Carnage event or whatever, uh, the Eddie is in jail and he no longer has the venom symbiote and he's sharing a cell with Cletus Cassidy. So mm-hmm. the venom symbiote goes, fuck it, I'm going to break my boy out. So he breaks him out. But when he does, a little bit of venom goes on to Cletus. And that little bit of venom is actually his child. So in this movie, Carnage calls him father. Yeah. And it's because the symbiote people um, reproduce asexually. So, th- so like, there's like eight kids of venom oh, in the Marvel okay. universe. So if you want it, so it's so the- was this kid? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it literally is. I so thought venom- it was just like a little piece of fucking thing. No. I was like, it's kind of weird. Why, why would it like? be a different thing yeah yeah so the venom lethal protector series like goes into all the offsprings of like the venom or yeah. and then yeah so then like it's like in it's a that and then there's like another there's a couple other like the maximum carnage run where it's like it goes across a bunch of spider-man books and there's like 11 the 90s or 12 was weird. <laughs> yeah it's just there was like 90s writing there's like seven eight spider-man books at one point in time during this and then it talks about all the different so like um so yeah, pretty much all of them are like just venom like children. And so technically the next one, the next child is always stronger too. Yeah. Like in the yeah. comic book. So like that's why he was like having such like that's why you would have a hard time with your because in the comic books, like, oh no, uh whoever you have will always be stronger. And that's just kind of the species, the way they work. Um, but the thing in this movie that they said and that doesn't actually mean anything. Was like Venom was like, oh shit, that's a red one. I don't fuck with that. And <laughs> apparently, he only said that because it was a different color. Like the colors don't mean anything. He was just like, I've never seen a what red one. I don't want to fuck with that. And that's why he like, Whew, or whatever. Um, he pulled a fucking Hulk. <laughs> yeah, I I think that's what they were doing. It was like a subtle like jab mm-hmm. or whatever at how they handled the Hulk in the MCU. And I never read like I have Lethal Protector one. But, like, I never read the rest of the series. So, like, because all of them have different colors. And I don't know, like, but I've never, like, looked into it to see, like, what's the... I'm well, sure in the they first only one... did that, though, to differentiate. Correct. You know? Yeah, so it makes it easier for readers and stuff like that. Right. Um, but I didn't know. I didn't think there was a lore to it. So, like, when he said that, I was like, oh, I guess maybe there is a lore that I didn't know about. Nah. But it's... <laughs> no lore. <laughs> just, just, you know, random line. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just, yeah. just... I mean, it was funny, it. though. Yeah, it was. Their interaction. I mean, so something cool about this movie is that um, they were actually... So he recorded all of his Venom lines. They did the audio engineering to make it sound like Venom. And then Tom Hardy had an earpiece in his ear. And he would hear what Venom was saying and then react to him. (laughs) So that it was more realistic, their like conversations with each other. So that was really cool. Did they do that in the first one too? Because I know the first one no. they say like Venom's voice is Tom Hardy, but other people as well to like fill in for like I, I don't know if it was with the banter. So no, like they do something in the first one different. They maybe played it like live, but in this one, apparently, it was Andy Circus's idea to mm-hmm. put the headphone in his ear so that he'd be reacting so, to so this other only thing. Only he would hear it, so like someone wouldn't like LOL. Like I mean, <laughs> yeah, it, it was funny Venom. <laughs> yeah, it works, w- but it works well too with the way they tell the story in here. Like I can see that he's been living he's with this deranged thing. man, dude. Yeah, <laughs> he's been living with this thing for how long though, and he hasn't like learned to not say shit out like loud. Six months. <laughs> yeah, like I, I feel like he should have learned to not be like, "Oh, you're a dickhead," talking to like a coworker. Hey, don't say that. <laughs> yeah, but oh, like I mean, no, you can't eat no, Mrs. Chin. <laughs> there's no telling how anyone would react in that situation. Though. Dude, it's a fucking comic book. You can't inject real life logic into a comic book movie. I mean, you tell me Venom wouldn't nah. be, you know, like trying to protect his own ass because it is a symbiotic relationship. So he wouldn't be like, 
But Venom also thinks but he it, can go to wherever he wants. But it's like a loosely symbiotic relationship because if they leave, Eddie didn't die. And Venom didn't die. Venom's spoilers. I actually don't want to get too far into spoilers just yet. Um, I think the acting was fine. It was all right. If you think that a- either one's gonna die in this franchise, you are just wrong. Like, well, you're no, kind but of- I don't want to give away like the sequence <laughs> that happened. Well, yeah, you know? that's spoilery. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, that's like saying the first one, like, oh yeah, I didn't, I uh, like, oh, well, I yeah, your hero's it. never gonna die. Yeah, but a lot of people are upset about that because they're like, oh, he's not a true hero, and it's like, but he isn't. It's the problem. That's, like people yeah, want he's an anti-hero. Yeah. yeah, people were upset that it's like, oh, that it didn't have some of the hero tropes in it, but it's like he's not a hero. He literally fought the bad guy. That's yeah. weird. What a weird argument. That's he so weird. He saved the damsel in distress. Dude. He did, and he didn't even get none, dude. I mean, Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. He didn't get none. <laughs> yeah. If you were hoping that your hero was going to get some, <laughs> yeah. you're dead wrong. Wrong movie. Yeah. Um, I, Let's talk about some high-level stuff, and then I guess we can get into spoilers if we want. I was going to say, in the first movie, how many symbiotes were there? Just the one, right? Two. Two. Venom, Venom and... and the... Toxin? No. Rhino. No. Right? Riot, yeah. I think is his name. Riot. It yeah. is Riot, yeah. yeah there you go. Because the one that they it. spoilers, I, never I mind. I thought they sent a bunch out into into space. No, he got ejected from his planet is what happened because he was a fucking loser. <laughs> is, Venom. Yeah, is the lore. Okay. Um that's why um in this movie Eddie's like, "Bro, you're also a fucking loser." <laughs> like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, but you, like, you weren't anything without me. Yeah. Vice versa. Yeah. I'm curious where they go with this because in the comic books, like a lot of people are really liking like Donny Cates, like stuff he's done with like uh, the Donny Venom who? stuff. I mean, we know like, where they're going for the next well, yes. movie. <laughs> yeah. Hugh Jackman. Huge jacked man. <laughs> but like they have so much cool stuff going on with Venom where it's like they could that they could do so much. That's why. Yeah, but Sony's like, not know- going to do that. Sony isn't. Yeah, dude. Now, if Sony signs over the rights to Marvel, they're gonna do that. <laughs> they're gonna do all of it. Um, I don't, but, but I don't I, think. I, I think there's a different partnership going forward, though. Maybe it depends on how Morbius does. What but if Morbius know... is just they crank Morbius out of the park and they're like, you know what? Fuck that. No more partnerships. <laughs> Spider Man's ours. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shoot, they worry about Steve Ditko's family right now, but. I mean, they should be. <laughs> Those people deserve that money, though. For what? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What he had the rights. About? He sold them. Nah, but come on, dude. It, it's it's about like um, like that's not good business practices because if people look at you negatively, that's gonna be a problem. Like they deserve to have their name on it and sure some money, but they're like, we want the character back. It's like you. I mean, that'll never happen. Back. I don't know. Uh, no, but they deserve a little something. What are you guys talking about? I mean, I gear. Uh, so, so, go ahead, James. The co creator of Spider Man, uh, Steve Ditko's family. Like, uh, so Steve Ditko and Marvel and then Stanley, they sold like everything. But now the family wants like uh, a share of the, like, well, actually, I think they're trying to get the character back. But if not, they want a share of like the profit for the character and they want some money for it since their grandfather created the character. But how sure are we that like he was actually properly, um, like What's probably the word? compensated for it. Yeah, he hundred percent probably wasn't right. But so but I think they, it, yeah. But it's like a no, corporation, but, right? Like you signed the paper already, you're like you're fucked. But but like they've changed their practices since then. So the argument is like this family probably should get a little bit of what the character is worth because their grandfather worked to create something that is globally known. You know, mm-hmm. like. I, I can understand their argument to an extent. I don't think they should own the character because that's just fucking no. crazy. But yeah. I think what they're doing is they're like... Give them some residual you some start royalties. High. Yeah, they're starting high because they it's know they're high. not getting that. Yeah. <laughs> it's the art but of the no. deal. It fucking helps everyone. Hurts no one. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, they're going to get some royalties Gross and, you know... And then you're going to see at the end, because it happened with Batman. That's the same thing that just happened with Batman a couple years ago. That's why at the yeah, end you see the... Bob Kane actually got nothing. Or no, uh, what, who was the one who didn't get anything? No, it was the other guy. Bob Kane yeah. is the one that stole it. For he he did steal it. 
So there's um, that Hulu documentary about it. That's really good. Bill yeah, Finger. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. But now, like, you see, but the other guy, uh, the other guy, actually, his name was on it. Bill Fingers wasn't, but now Bill Fingers is. Is. Uh, um, and then, like, they did the same thing with Superman recently, too. Yeah. Jesus. But they also try to get those characters back, like, the the family, and then people are just like, no. Like, yeah. Sort of late, it, dude. They give yeah. them something. They're going to get something. Yeah. They're just being greedy. Yeah. Which is fine. They're allowed to be greedy, I guess. I mean, you're allowed to, like, I have no problem with them doing the lawsuit. Like, go yeah. for it. Fuck it up, <laughs> man. Get yeah. that bag, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right, man. Back to this movie, though. Uh, Some of the shots were dope. I think every shot that they had in the trailer was really fucking cool. Like, I the mean, shot I, of, of fucking carnage up there like this. And then against, like, the the thing in the back. The, the glass. glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, apparently, I'm hitting y'all with the facts, whether you ask for it or not. That is a reference to Da Vinci's David, the uh, the drawing of the man, and he's got, like, his arms in different yeah. spots or whatever. And that's because right before that, he did the thing, and he was like, upgrade. And so that's mm. what it was supposed to be, like, visually represented. He did that Mortal Kombat zinger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Upgrade. I mean, I like the way Venom looks. Like, I didn't like it in when I first had seen it, but, like, the more it's, I guess it's just growing on me. Oh, you think he's missing the little fucking? He's a hundred percent missing the big ass spider on his chest. Well, he's yes. missing it, but like, there's no reason for him to have it. No, none. Nah. Like, unless Eddie was like, "Uh, I've always been into spiders. Uh, yeah. we should put a spider on our chest." Because I mean, yeah, Eddie. Yeah, no, I think now because I've seen now I've seen two movies. I'm like, okay, it doesn't bother me as much. But like, so, he's like, because look, if you look, I have both those comic books. So look how white those chests are. Well, Big as shit white, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, so you're so used to it. So, yeah. an- another fact is that Andy Serkis actually redesigned Venom's face for this movie to give him more human-like features. So mm-hmm. he has he has lip rolls like humans do so that when he's talking, there's, like, visual things showing that his mouth is moving. And then he actually gave him brow ridges so that when he's moving his eyes, there's, like, mm-hmm. the brow ridge that you would normally see on a human. Mm-hmm. To help people connect with him better, because everybody hated Venom's design in the first movie. So maybe that is why, yeah, because he does yeah. look better in this movie. I just assumed I liked it more. I mean, they probably um, pump more money into it too, oh, right? Yeah. Which is why, because I, I think he looks fucking cool in this movie. I'm like, I think so too. This is what fucking Venom should look like, especially when he's just like walking around, like it, like yeah. Um, <laughs> that was funny. That's the whole scene of him just. Whoa! Well, that's spoilers. Around. That's spoilers. But no, that's the, what I was the, trying not to the, get at earlier. In the trailer where they show the where he's wearing the glow sticks or whatever. Okay, that part. Yep. The yeah. I think if we can restrict it to trailer, we're good. Because if I you haven't, haven't seen, seen it, I, I don't remember the trailer. So, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing watching this review if you've never seen the trailer? <laughs> Um, I, try, I try to go as blind as possible into movies. So do I. I um, mean, I watch them at once. It's just when, like, I go to the movies so much that, like, I like, can't hard. help it. Yeah. Like, the last night... You, go ahead. Go ahead. Once you see that, go like, ahead. second theatrical trailer, like, you're, yeah. like, hopping too much. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? So, the thing that I thought was fucking dope was how Carnage takes over... Cletus's body because when it's venom all that happens is like the blackness consumes it like comes out of his back or whatever and then consumes mm-hmm. Eddie but like if you looked really hard you could see like Cletus's face ripping open every time like carnage was coming through him it was dope it was oh oh um oh <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> that's actually a better shot happened. yeah um, it did I mean just like the whole like when Carnage appears for the first time, that whole that whole scene was cool. It seemed so, like all the little yeah. wigglies like coming out of his skin. So did it have anything to do with uh like the lethal injection stuff? No. Th- I thought that's what you said. I don't because, think it's spoilers. He was gonna the, die. He's a serial no, killer. He, in the um, trailer he's he's being like uh I don't the, think that activated it. I think he did it then for show. Well no, I think uh, he was like is, yeah, so it's, it's like comic lore for like because like Carnage has only ever been uh, with Cletus Cassidy, right. so he's always trying to like he heals him and he like stops him from dying a bunch of times in the comic books. So I didn't know if it was because he was gonna die and that was him. Like, I don't think so. 
I mean, oh, okay. I, maybe, but I don't but think. He, but so. he would die if not. If Car- like Karn just actually saved him. Right. But what I'm saying is, I don't think it was like out of necessity. I think that was their plan from the beginning. Like I think I think Carnage was just like, man, ah, fuck it. This is a better time. Hey, than bro, anything. let's do it. let's do it right here let's at this it. point. You know? Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait. There's gonna be people watching. Let's fuck it up. <laughs> but no. But Cletus doesn't know Car- he's Carnage is in him at that point. So this is one of the reasons that I, I some of this movie is just bad. There's no fucking explanation for anything. <laughs> Like because you're just supposed a, to take it at face value. If there's it, a scene if, later on where he looks into a mirror and he's like, I mean, it's kind of spoiler, not I mean, not really. And he's like, oh, so you are real. Like he might have thought he was just going insane. Yeah, maybe. But like that's something where you could infer it because they don't yeah. tell you. There's no fucking way of knowing. And it's like the movie's an hour and thirty minutes. Make it an hour and forty and have these yeah. two fuckers talk. For more than six to, seconds. The issue with Carnage is you need to like. I feel like this movie more so. I you if you don't have enough background on him, it it hurts the character, which makes like, the movie not great. Yeah, that, like, that, that I mean, I had like barely any knowledge on Carnage. I don't have I still, either. I still enjoyed the way he appeared for the first time and like him roaring and screaming. I mean, I think Carnage looks cool. Y- yeah, Carnage definitely looks that was cool. Super cool. But like, yeah. and I, and but I didn't I'm really talking care about... about the backstory because I'm like, okay, yeah, it's just it's just a the villain it's a whole you know story purpose you know yeah but that fucking sucks dude i i like to know a little bit about my bad guy other than me bad (laughs) me kill people too you know because carnage killer too (laughs) yeah carnage is just an ape he's just like me me hunt dad me kill him (laughs) like that's it and i and i don't know shit about carnage to be honest with you but i was just hoping for the best I was like, but I think dude, flesh like, him out a little bit. The issue with, I mean, the reason Carnage is like that is also too when you look at if you look at like the symbiotes or symbiotes, whatever they call them in here, um, <laughs> is like symbiote is the right word. Go he ahead. Probably wasn't <laughs> fully mature because like that happened in the comic books where some of like the offsprings mm. until they can fully mature, and so but it's one thing where it's like sure if you know lore about you know symbiotes then yeah. sure but if you don't it's like because like I can see as Carnage. As Carnage grows and he gets older and they fuse better, then sure, like he will get, you know, smarter. Because right now he just knows his one instinct. Right. And I mean, that's kind of how it is, is with carnage. Venom early on. Yeah. It's like, let the there be Carnage. Is, correct. <laughs> the, the difference between um, Venom is Eddie Brock is a good person. Like, he's decent. With, yeah, he's yeah, a decent. He's, he's an okay person for sure. Yeah. Right. But with, um, with Cletus, he's like a, he's a, he's a serial killer. He's literally a mass I mean, murderer. yeah, like the yeah. symbiotes like take on the traits of like their uh their person, right? Yeah. Yeah, kind of, but like in the books, they also kind of have their own personalities without and ever they, having yeah. a host. It's weird. It's it's a, like anything with Spider Man though is gonna be weird and convoluted because in the nineties everything was weird and convoluted. So you just have to pick and choose which parts you think are cool enough to put in a movie. Well, the issue with Marvel too is nothing's ever really started over. They may do new series, but everything is always still canon. Yeah. So it's like some of this stuff that happened, like so they've done like so many did like the new Venom stuff is good, but like Lethal Protector is still canon. So anything that happened in there in that Maxim Carnage stuff, all this other Carnage stuff, like that's, that's still already still canon. happened. <laughs> Lethal yeah. Protector's its own thing, you're saying? It's a mini series. Like that comic yeah, book is Venom Lethal Co- uh, Protector One. So like the book right there is Amazing Spider Man three seventy five or something like that. So like in that uh, thing, they're like, oh, he like breaks off from Spider Man, goes to California, or yeah, San Francisco, San Francisco, and then and then they do that book. But yeah. that's how they did a lot of it, like, which is why they put him in San Francisco right away, is because they're like, well, he was here in Lethal Protector, so it's not a yeah. bad place to start. They beat that over the head, though. Uh, yeah, that was one of the things that I was like. Cool, bro. I I fucking get it, man. Yeah, I get it because I hope the combo goes up because they say it a million times. But like, I was like, I get it. Like, all right. That's just one of those things where it's like, the first time, sure. The fifth time is not funny, bro. Don't do it again. There's no point. Venom says it okay, and then when they if they agree on it, sure. But when they like okay, they agree on it, and now let's keep saying it like. Why? <laughs> you gotta throw it in, dude. TM. <laughs> but but like the dude who is back to the right of me. 
Loved it every time. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on, dude, what the, the first, fuck? The first time I was like, oh yeah, you know, cause yeah, because right. of the, the thing, and the dude. End, they're like, oh, okay, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. Um, but I see what you're saying, Joey. About the they just throw you into the fucking pit, cause like the first scene, I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, who's this lady? <laughs> Origin. Like and, and like they tried. They had to give you the origin of two different characters too. Yeah. Granted, they were linked yeah. or whatever, but it was like, damn, y'all are really r- rushing this shit, dude. Like, well, and just and add then, ten like, minutes. That's it. That's all you need. So it was really like so two characters they were trying to do, and a third character they were hinting at. But that's like yeah. it was not enough time. No, because like the cop character is trash. Yeah, is- I I didn't see that coming to be honest. <laughs> Me either. See, but if you you if you knew the comic book, you would. Yeah, because oh. it's his name and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's blatant, oh, okay. bro. It is <laughs> like they just use the same character. They just change like a couple things to make it tie into the Venom verse. Yeah, better. you don't know until like he's uh, in when they like go down to his like badge or name tag or whatever. Yeah. So like the first like half of the movie, you don't know. But once the, you get to that point, it's like, oh well, I know where this is going. If um, you know the character, because I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I if did. you don't I, know the character. I had no idea. I was like, okay, I don't give a fuck about this guy. Why is that happening to him? And then I I'll watched that thing. But Wahlberg. once we get to spoilers, yeah. like, it, once we get to spoilers, it kind of makes sense. So big spoiler. Now we're spoiling because we're 30 minutes deep on spoilerinos. this. Spoilerinos. Um, Hugh Jackman does not show up, guys. No. <laughs> it's Tom Holland. <laughs> right. And J. So, Jonah Jameson. Go ahead. So Carnage only has one uh, uh, offspring. Is it only Carnage and then everybody else's Carnage is only his, his only his only offspring is Toxin. So it's no. like I mean technically then he would have two. Carnage and Toxin. No no no. Venom so Venom is like okay, so like uh Venom is like the father of like six others. So then oh, Toxin okay. is so Venom is Toxin's grandfather. Right, okay, that's what I thought. So yeah, Carnage only has one offspring, and the thing with him is Carnage tries to like kill Toxin early on or whatever. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to have offspring because he knows Toxin will be stronger. Mm. And then the cop doesn't want to have the 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 symbiote. And it's like and early on, like um because it's so weak, he can't even like form like a suit or whatever. So oh, then what it's the like fuck? Yeah. So then the whole thing with it is like he didn't want to have it because like, oh, Carnage is so bad. But then it shows you that they just because you have an offspring doesn't mean you carry all the same traits. Because right. Toxin's a hero. Like, Toxin's actually a hero. Oh, is compared, he? Yeah. Compared to, like, a lot of these other ones that are, like, borderline. But, I mean, that goes into the the uh, the symbiote taking on traits yeah. of its host, right? Yeah. Because then it's like, oh, wait, this is a, this is a good dude. I guess we're going to be good dudes or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, Let's so go like, kill um, bad dudes. Cosy vibes only. I guess. Yeah. So, that was, so <laughs> I'm just confused because it's like because he Venom eats. Um, I mean, are we just spoiling now at this point? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, spoilers. I said spoilers. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's like he like eats him, and then both you know Cletus and both you know Carnage. Um, so it's like I mean I think Carnage dies at like one point, and then like there's like some futuristic thing that happens, and he comes back. Mm-hmm. But I was just like. Why kill him off? But it's like okay, they set up toxin. But I mean, I feel like that's your big go-to in the yeah. Because I mean, yeah, I mean, you're saying, like, you're saying like why kill off Carnage? Yeah, yeah why like, kill off your that's that symbiote? That's Venom's Joker. Yeah, like yeah. the only other number one dude. The only other big one is like anti Venom. Like yeah, but even then, that one's a weird one too because he's also but, a ha- antihero. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Eric. I mean, that's why they set up the whole end credit then, though, with Spider-Man. <laughs> They're like, okay, we got Carnage out of the way. Yeah, because in, mul- in the multiverse now, though, there's infinite Carnages. Mm-hmm. Like, now they can just be like, oh, there's a different Carnage from a different universe. Yeah. yeah, Different dude, too, and, not Woody Harrelson. <laughs> and the hard part with Carnage compared to some of these other symbiotes is, like, they've had other hosts. Like, yeah. Carnage has only had Cletus. So, like, right. Serial not- killer. Yes. <laughs> So it's like hard to be like, oh, and so now they've introduced four or five, right? So yeah, uh, Venom, Carnage, Toxin, Venom, Carnage, 
uh, rage Riot. or whatever the fuck. Yeah, Riot. Riot. <laughs> That's it. But then she's also supposed to, she ends up being um, the girlfriend. She ends up being she a Venom. one, too. But well, I think they literally just Venom. call her She Venom. Yeah. 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 But no, uh, Cletus's uh, girlfriend is also. No, uh Shriek? No, 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 Shriek? no. Shriek is a different character. I don't think she becomes. I'll look it up. I'll look it up while we're talking. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought so, but I could be wrong. Um, but like. No, you know what? Because I think Carnage kills her in Maximum Carnage. Is there a, is one of them called, what's her name? Shriek? Her name is Shriek. You are yeah. thinking of a female offspring, though. I just don't know which one it is. I will continue to okay. look it up. Y'all keep talking while I find it. Because um, I know they have, like, a, they, there's so many of them or whatever. But, like, the main one, like, and I don't know if they're ever going to get to it, is, like, Null. And it's, like, the first ever, Yeah, that's know, the symbiote yeah. god. Yeah, and that's the kind them. of comic books, and people love it. And it's like uh, it's just so much darker and stuff like that. Um, but they're never gonna make a darker one. It's never gonna be rated R, dude. No. So like they're just I gonna fuck it up. <laughs> ZZZXX. That's oh the God. symbiote I want to see, man. What are you even fucking talking about? <laughs> a symbiote criminal who was once bonded to Star Jammer, Raza, and Longknife. <laughs> so it's just random. Apparently, in later stories, she does get. A symbiote, but it's not the symbiote that you're thinking of. Okay. <clears throat> and does she keep the same name though? Yeah, she's still just Shriek. Okay. Scream yeah. is who you're thinking of. That's Scream. exactly what I'm thinking of. Yes, I knew she's, it was what to ask. It's like the red and yellow. She actually she's super nineties, but she looks pretty dope. Because I think she's also in Lethal Protector. Like because yep. there's like there's, she, there's a bunch of different colors. She first appears in Lethal Protector number four in May nineteen ninety three. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay. I mean, but like, <clears throat> who knows where it's even going to go from here? So yeah, yeah, I mean, if Sony opened up that line of fucking business, like, she... Dude, but even now, too, like, what is he going to do in No Way Home? Because they haven't showed him at all. Nope. <laughs> I'm a, well, and I he had, they... like, a picture where, like, he had a No Way Home hat on, and Tom Hardy is just, like, cheesing like a fucking idiot. Um, so I'm assuming it's because he's gonna fight the Sinister Six and and Venom's gonna be on his side. It's gonna be like Venom. Oh, that'd be cool. I think it's gonna be all three Spider Man and Venom versus the Sinister Six. That'd be wild. That'd be but, kinda, so you're thinking it, it's gonna be another end credit in No Way Home of no setting up another? No, no, no oh, this is gonna happen in No Way Home. Internals, we're gonna get another credit probably leading to Spider Man. Which oh. you think so? Dude, I I am ready to cream my shorts at this Spider Man movie. <laughs> like, you figure, like, oh man, he's seeing, already got a. Uh, go ahead. Seeing all three Spider Men and Venom fighting the Sinister Six with the best Doc Ock we could have ever the gotten. The best. The best. No, I I really do think Alfred Alfred Molina. That's Alfred the name, Molina, right? Yeah. Uh, His portrayal of Doc Ock is fucking. I mean, Great. that's all it, I know when I think of Doc Ock. Yeah. And so I've read really Doc Ock, Doc Ock heavy books, and like his portrayal is just phenomenal. He maybe is a little too soft, but in modern times, Doc Ock is pretty fucking soft. Mm -hmm. Um, like he falls in love with Aunt May and shit like that. It's it's she weird. Who doesn't, dude? I mean, well, she's she not that much of a dime in the comics. Let me tell you. She um, is. but and then you get the Green Goblin back. Electro was all right. His powers are cool, at least. My only fear is if we get the wrong Green Goblin. But no, we're not getting Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man Two Green Goblin, dude. I mean, because as of right now, we're getting we're probably no, getting but, Electro from but the Amazing Spider-Man, and who else? That's Rhino. <laughs> Paul Giamatti's <laughs> Rhino. No, no way, dude. That would be I, cool though. I liked his Rhino. I don't care that it's a big mech. I like mechs. I'm an anime boy. <laughs> so. Oh my god, I forgot about Paul Giamatti. Yeah, he's like, I am the Rhino! <laughs> I just wish Craven had already come out, so Craven would be awesome. Bro, but you don't know what kind of he villains... Could be, he could be introduced in this movie. Dude, a Tobey Maguire era Craven the Hunter would be wild. So, like, I'm but right, I think the... Go ahead. Who else is part of the Sinister Six? Mysterio's in it, but he's like... He's so gone, it's ain't it? so it's a revolving cast of characters. Sometimes. I don't know if they're doing the original or they're doing variation of it. That's it's got to be a variation. Because I think Probably. the Shocker's so, on the original, and I think he's no. gonna be in this movie. You think Shocker's gonna be in it? 
because they 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 took their time to put two shockers in in uh far from or homecoming. So you, home homecoming had one. There was two shockers. So there's the white guy and the black guy. They're like so they're both like oh. they had both been shocker in the comic books, but only one is shocker in the movie. In the movies, and I don't know if they're gonna him. dig like, they him up. Those characters, but like. It depends on where that battle takes place. Like, are Alfred Molina and the other Spider-Man Sinister Six coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Or are we going to Tobey Maguire's universe? Or are we going to uh, Andrew Garfield's? And, and like, we, it, there's no way of knowing. Like, I get what you're saying. There's like, no way I, home, dude. I'm only speculating <laughs> based off of, like, I feel like, because they've, they've set up a majority of the of people that have been in Sinister Sex in Sex? I, I'm you. a huge fan of the Sinister Six. Sex. <laughs> Same. But the only problem with doing that here is that they're they're busting their nut. I'm not going to want to go see a Marvel Cinematic Universe Sinister Six if Alfred Molina's not there. But, you know, the other si- the other four people I, are from the Cinematic I, yeah. Universe. Right? But I Sony think... owns Alfred Molina's character, though, because that's based off of... No, I know. I think but the rest think, are going to be that, like, Sony's going to be like, all right, you're coming to my fucking universe. All no, right, I but- think Sony Buster. is, like, saying, Sony did the end credit to be like, okay, everything, okay, so you can use any of these characters, so, like, when we want to use characters, you know, throw us a bone. Because that's Maybe. what happened with Homecoming. Mm, yeah. Because cause I, I didn't think about it, I was like, oh, how are they, like, the trailer happened, I was just, you know, psyched about it, but I was like, oh, wait, Marvel actually doesn't own, like, Doc Ock, and characters. they don't own... And they don't own the specifically the one from Spider Man one, which is totally Sony. So like that means they had that deal in place that we just didn't know about. Well, yeah, that that happened tw- in twenty twenty, right? When they were it like, it happened when they were trying to be like, we're no, we're taking them back. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It had, but and I, I guess mean, that's why it got more messy than we were like anticipating. Because I was like, why <laughs> is this such a? Well, how is this so hard, fellas? Just yeah, fucking just split one, it up. One guy, one fighter, man. <laughs> now it's 20 fucking dudes in three different universes. But there's rumors that, like... Um, don't rumor me, bro. I can't from who, the dude? Rumors, dude. <laughs> Go ahead. You don't, from your neighbor? Yeah. yeah. Sony, Sony My dad's to, uncle works yeah. at Sony. <laughs> Go ahead. Sony is trying to push things ahead. So, like... MCU Morbius wants- is going to be in this movie, too, dude! Go ahead. I'm sorry. So they're trying to they're trying to push like <laughs> to get their other Spider Man in like the movies. Oh shit! We're gonna have Tobey Maguire as Spider Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Would that be so stupid? <laughs> no, they're like so. This is like obviously you know people can say whatever they want, but they're pushing to have Miles in this early. And the MCU is There's like, There's no way, no. bro. There's no There's way. There's no setup yet, dude. I <laughs> know there, there was is. one line in Homecoming where he goes, Hey, man, you can't be doing that shit around here. My little nephew lives here. Oh, true. I forgot about the g- Gambino. If you look yeah. at it, though, like Sony's like, dude, we could. They're thinking money. But right. MCU's like, no, wait. Like, it'll be better. <laughs> yeah. It'll be better in 10 years. But like they're like, no, years. we'll have miles. I don't, I don't think three you should years. wait 10 years. Yeah, they got three years tops before I'm out. I Before need I to have a Bariqua the Spider-Man issue. yesterday, all right? No, same, same, same. The, but the I zoom in, yeah. you lean back and it went, <laughs> go ahead. The problem is, though, it's like, I mean, what age do you want Tom Holland to be at? Like, Because Tom Holland's still so young. He's getting old. The- no, he's getting old now, dude. <laughs> no, yeah, he's 28 in real life, but he still looks 13. <laughs> he's a senior in high school. And yeah. In the... And so it's like, know, he's going to be at least like 26. Yeah, because you can't have a mentor who's your same age. That doesn't make that's any a, sense. That's why I'm assuming MCU wants that's to why the other. That's why the other Spider-Men are coming in to be the mentor. <laughs> Which is pop. And they're like, we found, he found a, a, a Puerto Rican kid, and I found a black kid. <laughs> Hopefully you'll find one that's a little yeah. bit more. Hey, they did it in Spider-Verse. Let's just do it in the, you know, that live is, action. That is 100% what they're thinking, though. They're like, what? We introduced seven Spider Man in this movie. Why can't y'all do it? Yeah. And Marvel and Kevin Feige's like, I'm in a room full of fucking children. (laughs) It works. It works if Sony was like doing, you know, taking its time and building a Spider Verse, but it's like, (laughs) That's not what they're I'm doing. Trying to, I'm trying to build a money verse. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if Miles shows up, like people will lose their goddamn mind. I'll lose my mind, bro. I'm I will, losing my mind I'll, already. I'll I be will, honest. Yeah. 
Like, I was at the end credit scene and I was like, there's no, there's no fucking way, dude. There's yeah. no fucking way, dude. Wait, that was, that was Doctor Strange's spell, right? We don't know, bro. We have no I fucking. Like, I feel like, like, it has to be. But you're telling like... me Doctor Strange's spell, the end of Loki, Wanda Maximoff's vision, all right, dude, and, like, on, all this shit happened at the same time, bro? Like, <laughs> Multiverse. I haven't of, seen that shit yet, dude. Come well, on. Well, catch up, you fucking loser. The the I Marvel train. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say. I really didn't like the end of this movie, and then I saw the end credit, and I was like, "I'm back, baby." Dude, this movie is only great because it's an awesome commercial for Spider Man No Way Home. Hundred percent. Yeah, 100%. that's but it. But like, I enjoyed the movie. I got bored at points, but overall, I liked it. But I think yeah. they just when it, when it the ending, dude. Yeah, the, the ending, ending is of fucked. the movie was trash. Kind of. I liked it. What like, was what there to like? like about it? It was just a big action sequence. Trash. And they just ran. Yeah, it was like randomly ended. You're on a beach. And no, then I kind of like that because he had oh, the sand like... between his toes, bro. He had to feel the wind through his what hair. Mean? He's on the run from the cops. He had to go. Man, he could run my balls in his toes. <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't. It was just. I thought it was just I, you know. I expected I, more from messy. Andy Circus to be honest with you. the The story is a little bit of a mess. It like jumps and it's like hard to find out when certain things are happening during other things. Like the direction. What has Andy Circus ever done where you're like, man, bro, this guy? Did he's it. Gollum, bruh. <laughs> no, yeah, he, he's very good at doing. You know, I'm eight. Uh, oh. <laughs> He was Kong, dude. Strong Come together. On. No, he directed he's something. He's mocap. He's fantastic at mocap. He's a I'll fantastic actor because him as Claw is inspired. I don't know what that is. <laughs> him as Claw? Ulysses and, uh, Claw Panther from Black and, and... Panther and Age of Ultron? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the the, the arm guy. <laughs> the I, arm guy. Yeah, that one, dude. I hope he comes back because, like, I have his first appearance was the second appearance of Black Panther. Yeah, dude, but he just wanted for the appearance. money, dude. Come yeah, on. He's, 100%. he's playing a Sony game is what he's doing. Yeah. You're at the bus it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sell, you, dude. sell, sell, sell. Hey, look at those two books right there. <laughs> those are going to go up by December. Maybe. Get them now. Maybe. He mentioned it, what, seven times, Lethal Protectors? Or? <laughs> How much did you he spend did. on that Lethal Protector number one? Uh, So I paid 150 for both of them. Oh, that's, oh, wait, wait each wait. or together? Individually, so 300 a uh, piece. Okay. Oh, they, 300 no, together. Jesus be. fucking Okay, <laughs> Jesus Christ, James. <laughs> the, the, the invoice total was for $300, and each book cost me 150 <laughs> We 100%. got there. Now we're there. Um. um that one, that was the first appearance of his girlfriend's character, the Spider-Man one. I mean, that makes Ooh. sense, right? She probably lives in uh, 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 San Francisco. Yeah, but like, yeah. I expected them to do more with her character in this movie. I was kind of disappointed. I'm fine with her not really I being in it. She's a nice cameo. Yeah. You know? An extended cameo. <laughs> a 20-minute cameo. <laughs> Like, well, her like, interaction with Venom was cool. And, like, we got to see yeah. her as she Venom, which, like... That's the weirdest boner I've People ever had. People get rock hard, you know? People, I'm right here, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. I'm waiting. I'm just waiting for them to actually I'm like, also wet. Her. Yeah. Yeah, same. Dude, <laughs> I'm like no, pasta, dude. I don't know if she's going to come back. Or she's not going to be in No Way Home. Probably not. No, he's going to be Probably the only not. character in No Way Home. And then Woody Harrelson's going to be like, hey, <laughs> in the background or something. You're um, saying only Venom, not yeah, Tom it's, Hardy, it's right? It's actually <laughs> Venom No Way Home, yeah. Tom Hardy's completely out of the picture. Throw him out. He's, uh, he's just going to be Venom all the time. <laughs> Tom Hardy's never going to be there. Well, no, they're going to do the half face thing. And he's hey, gonna, Tom. Oh, how's it going, Tom? Here. We got to record you real quick. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like that effect when they kept pulling off the faces. Yeah. It's cool. The effects in this cool. movie are great. I think they all look I, good. I wanted Venom to use more of his, like, uh, like shape his body more like weapons, kind of like Carnage did. But he doesn't, though, is the problem. In yeah. the first one, he he did, like, a shield, and that's about it. Right. Because he's more like, yeah, uh, Carnage is all offense. Yeah. Venom's more defense. I yeah, mean, he's Venom balanced. would do, he's, like, he's big, big fists. Yeah, <laughs> he could have, yeah, he could have big fists. I just Maybe if like... he would have eaten that priest, he could have made a fucking knife or something. And that's <laughs> the thing, though, up. like, Carnage guy was able to get so big because he was so fed. Venom was eating little chicken brains. Like, this dude's eating whole grown ass men. Whole, yeah, <laughs> chocolate and chicken brains. Mm. They're fucking chemical and brains dude, and chocolate. But, they, yeah. but he needs to be a hero. 
because they don't have a hero. Their yeah. hero is off fucking licking Iron Man's toes or whatever. <laughs> And like, you know? and you look at your only other movie is gonna be Morbius. He's Aussie, like you're not really a hero. No, and that movie's gonna be dog shit. That's why they keep pushing it back. You think Blade's gonna show up in that? <laughs> oh, could you imagine Wesley Snipes? Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> if, if it was Snipes, it'd be so funny. But it better be Mahasha or whatever Ali's name Ma- is. Marshala Ali, dude. Come on. Yeah. Um, He's I would actor. love. I can't pronounce his name. I- does I Wesley would... Snipe have a kid? <laughs> no. Eric, you he's... do realize they cast a new person as, as Blade, right? No, he's got no idea. I didn't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you keep, like, saying... So what the actor that? from, like, uh, Moonlight and Green Book and... Oh, he's confirmed? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were just making Three shit years up. ago. Yeah, no, <laughs> the last time that Marvel was at comic-con he came out on stage oh, when they showcase like all the different people that are yeah like the, the eternals uh, yeah he went I out and he's like that. i'm blade <laughs> and then that's it and then the movie's not coming out until 2025 yeah <laughs> um all right let's let's burn through these questions so we can get to wreck boys um questions but okay. I rent it. Nah, dude. Hey, chill out, bro. <laughs> What's our favorite part? James, you go first. We're just going to go clockwise based on the stream. So, James, me, Eric. Right. Uh, Fuck I really you, man. Just like, any, it's like the, the banter, like I like them. So, it's not anything specifically, but like, I guess, well, if you do a specific scene, I did like when they're uh, in the morning where he's trying to, like, he's cooking them breakfast and he's trying to, you know, mend his broken heart. So, and all yeah, that stuff like after that. he finds out that Anne is uh, engaged to her new boyfriend. Yeah. Venom's like, so just don't like worry. The, yeah, it was just so like cheeky, and I thought it was hilarious, like everything yeah. about it, and just how like he means well, but he's so destructive, and like <laughs> even when Venom's trying to do well, he destroys everything. Yeah. Um, what's my favorite part, dude? I don't know. Woody Harrelson is just fucking weird. He's a creep, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's so weird, and like him only speaking in, uh, like, uh, in prose, prose from books. Yeah, it's so <laughs> weird. I, I don't know. It's a it's a weird Carnage because I the things that I've read of Carnage are totally different from this. But he did improve this movie because like if they had a lesser actor, oh like, yeah, it would have this film wouldn't have been good. Like mm-hmm. they should have just did Tom Hardy twice, dude. Like in fucking the, the other movie you did. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Where he's like a spy or something. Yes, uh, I'll look it up. Um, like one wears glasses, the other one doesn't. Yeah, and that's yeah. like oh, I know which one yeah. I'm looking at. No. <laughs> Uh, it was Eric. more like a crime thing. I, yeah, I, I think one like, like the, a gangster. Go ahead. Like James said, the relationship, but like the scene that kicked it off was like in the bathroom. He's talking to himself, and the woman's just like, "What the uh, fuck's going on on the other side yeah, of this he's fucking?" Like, he's, he's really talking to his shit down there. <laughs> but what's cool about him, like still doing it though, is because like the the big thing about it is like people legit think he's like schizophrenic or something. Oh, like yeah. so, so I think like it adds to it, like and. And and he was like saying his line. He's like, "Hey man, you." He's like, oh, "I'm just psyching myself up, man." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one, the one that was funny though was when he told uh, the cop or something. The female cop. He said something to her like, and then he's like, "I I got nothing for that one." <laughs> like he couldn't even like. That's I take the same scene. Like as soon as he says, "Oh, I'm so psyching myself yeah, up," uh-huh. and finally they open the door to the prison and the, the cops there. Oh. And he says like, "Shut up" or something. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and and then like, he just, like normally he has a lie. That one he's just like, yeah. I got nothing. Uh, the movie's called Legend, and it's a biographical crime thriller film written and directed by American director Brian Helgland, and it is adapted from John Pearson's book, The Provision of Violence: The Rise and Fall of the Cray Twins. Yeah. So he played two twins, and they were crime bosses or some shit. There's um. <laughs> Uh, all right. Least favorite part. Uh, Ending. Look at Noob trying to get some screen time. Um, hey, <laughs> yo. <laughs> like I, I, I get the whole like sound thing or whatever, but like it kind of, it's kind of dumb because it's like yeah, I can't be destroyed by bullets or nukes or anything else. But these poles rattle in. I'm mean, like, get killed by nukes because it's fire. Yeah. Yeah. 
But like, it's just. All right, change of plans. Not my least favorite part. <laughs> no, I just like, I don't like. So when she kept doing the whole screaming thing, and then I was just like, I was just kind of stupid. Like I didn't really care for it. I mean, she had to because it's her character. But it's just like. That's a weird nitpick. Didn't like it. <laughs> I don't really like their I weaknesses. Wanted, I wanted <laughs> Shriek to pop off and kill one of them. I also wanted to see Shriek kill someone. That would have been she, cool. It was just like she was underwhelming, though. She, she Her character was super fucking underwhelming. Yeah. She was but like a When prop. you watch the trailer, you think there's going to be more to her than there is in the movie. Maybe if the movie was 10 minutes longer, there could have been. Oof. But they knew that, dude. <laughs> Off topic, but I watched Saints of New York and they that made the trailer they made the trailer look like this character is gonna be in it a lot longer than he was. Dude, don't tell me I'm, Spoilers. I'm still trying to finish Sopranos. I got so like I, I got I'm on the last season. I'm on the last season and then I I'm mean, gonna watch the movie. The movie's not gonna go off of HBO. Like I don't think it will, it, is it? No, it it's to October thirty first it's gonna go off. I got time to watch Sopranos, man. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I've been watching for months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can watch at work. I can watch hours at work. And miss yeah. half the story. <laughs> well, I mean, there's not a lot. It's a bunch of fucking gabagools being gabagools. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's like this movie, dude. Just a bunch of gabagools. Yeah, I think this movie was just rushed. My least favorite part was how fucking rushed it felt. It felt like everybody had to be home at 9 p.m. And they were filming the movie at 7.30. <laughs> They were like, yo, come on, fucking yeah. get your lines in. They got one take <laughs> for everything. Uh, so Mrs. Was... Chen's Venom was cool. <laughs> oh, dude, that CGI was fucking awesome on her face. Yeah, it was cool, yeah. Oh, the CGI in this movie actually looks phenomenal. There were really very like... few times that I was like, this looks shitty. Yeah, and even when he was interacting with other people, it still looked really good. Oh, uh, when he was up on stage, I was like, mm -hmm. that looks practical. Like, that could have yeah. been a dude in a suit. And it, honestly, it could be for all we know. <laughs> Andy Serkis is up there in a suit. Yeah. It's my coming out party. <laughs> um, Hey, dude, he was deep, though. Like, when you, like, <laughs> like what he was saying, like, because they were obviously thinking of, you know, uh, regular people versus actual aliens. Yeah. But it's like, man, I felt that. Like, that uh, yeah, was dude, as a dreamer. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> That hit hard since it's uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. It, it really did. fucking mm. it was a banger. Uh, cinema scores. Would we rent it? Nah. No. No. Would we buy this movie physically? No. Nope. No. Would we buy it digitally? Maybe. Mm. I'm a strong maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I would honestly buy a Spider-Man Steel book with every Spider-Man character in it. So I need all. Five of the original ones, then all of Tom Holland's ones, Into the Spider Verse, and both of the Venoms. Then I would buy this movie physically. That'd be it, though. In a collection. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I find this movie fun. Like I think I would. I wouldn't mind just throwing it on. We'll get there. Don't f no spoilers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> would you buy it in the five dollar bin at your local establishment? Walmart, hundred sure. percent. Maybe. Uh, FYE exclusive FYE steel case, sure. With 100%. Mrs. Chen as Venom on the cover. <laughs> uh, would you put this on in the background while people are over? Maybe. Yeah. If I had a copy, sure. Yeah. I if, mean, I, if we I weren't watching movies... literally anything else, yes. But yeah, I feel like there's no harm on putting this movie. Like you throw it on, people would chuckle, and it uh, you don't even pay attention. But there's uh -huh. definitely better movies you could throw on randomly at a party. Sure. Oh yeah. Tell me there's not. Tell me, I mean, tell me is. this is the best. There's worst movies you can throw on. <laughs> well, yeah, like, nobody wants to throw on The Exorcist yeah. to hang out to. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to watch uh, Train Spotting just hanging out. Don't, don't be little those groups that love those movies. All right. Yeah, yeah but they watch them all the time. If you're getting together with the boys though, and you're getting rowdy, and you throw on fucking Requiem for a Dream, there's a goddamn problem. <laughs> all right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he was waiting for one scene, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to get into something else. A different a different movie that came up in conversation this week. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, but oh, no. Um, and would you recommend? Yeah, just for the end credit scene. 100%. But you... I but you have to sit through the whole movie, though, to get the end credit scene. You're not allowed oh, yeah. to just watch it on YouTube. I think a lot what? of people would like this movie. I, I think it's just like... If you like Tom Hardy, go watch it. Yeah, it, yeah. If like, you like Gooey Monsters. It's not great, but it's a, it's a good movie. Like, it's fine. 
Especially it's it, entertaining. It came out perfectly because there's nothing else at the theaters I feel like watching. So this is the only reason I went to AMC this week. I was yeah. like, yeah, I'll pop over. Did anything else come out this week? Though? I don't even know. Probably. Oh, it was like. Um, I mean, if you don't have HBO, uh, it's new. Dear one. Evan Hansen, <laughs> I think, came out or the last week it came out. But uh, the sequel, Adam's Family 2, I think, came out. Right. If you so have kids, he, don't yeah. take them to go see this movie. <laughs> go see Adam's Family Yo, 2. Yo, a kid, a kid, a guy brought his kid. Oh, like A woman brought her five-year-old son. And, and he was like, oh, wow. <laughs> well, there were like things happening, and this kid went, why is Venom so mad? Uh, and it's like, God damn it, bro. Like, why the fuck? He had his bring- kid in check, so it was, it was cool. This woman but- did so- not. <laughs> So like I was I was there and there was like so before I got there early and I was eating my chicken tendies and mm. they go hard. Brought to you by Marcus. Brought to you by Marcus. <laughs> Dude, if um, Marcus sponsored us, I'd literally fucking shit my pants. That'd be wild. But like there was a bunch of kids there from school. Like there was some school thing there, so Is teachers brought kids or whatever. I'm listening. And they were like so loud, like while we were setting up and stuff. I was like, oh no, this is gonna be terrible. But then once the movie started. No problems. I was like, I don't. I I thought we were going down a they terrible were in road, it, dude. They that, were, they invested in the movie. That's happened at a couple of movies that we went to where the kids were loud, yeah. and then the minute the trailer started, they're like, I don't want to get my ass beat. I'm gonna relax. And I'm cool. You could talk before you. I don't even care if you talk in the trailers. To be honest, I it's once the movie starts. Dude, I, I go to the movies too much. I see those trailers about 15 times. Yeah, yeah like, if, if you're going to the movies hype for the trailers, uh, get a fucking life, Eric. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> dude trailers.com dude just go to it (laughs) uh and then ratings i'll go first since i think i'm gonna have the most negative rating i give this movie like a 6.75 uh lethal protectors out of 10 (laughs) i give this movie a 6 out of 10 uh i think i you know i'm a burnham I think this is working. <laughs> <laughs> Pouring gasoline or whatever. I'll give it seven and a half out of ten. Why do they have to do uh, my boy Carnage so dirty like that? Why did they have to do Carnage dirty like that? <laughs> See ya. Yeah, they yeeted yeah. the fuck out of that guy. They only paid for 13 minutes of uh, <laughs> Carnage. Yeah, Woody what Harrelson's they- time was real tight that day. <laughs> The issue is that when they lop off the head, like, I was like, okay, sure, whatever. But then he, like, because there's no way around it. Mm-mm. No, there's no coming back from that. He's dead, dead. I, I guess with the end credit, sure, because now you, like, I mean, we're in multiverses, but Even I think it would then, be stupid. Dude. Yeah. I mean, it, to bring him back is just going to be dumb. It's going to not be great. Um, All right. Nobody's here live, but if you're here live, stick around for the next movie. I'm here live. Then we're gonna. Oh shit! Stick around, please. I need you to stick <laughs> around. I don't want to switch everything up. Um. Yeah. Whatever, man. We'll see y'all later. I Bye. have a fiend, dude, real quick. All right. I'll hit, I'll hit the.